Can y'all believe that this is the first makeup product that I've ever tried from Gucci? Today we're going to be testing out a $69 foundation from Gucci. This is their 24 hour luminous matte foundation and I've had this for like two months now and I've been meaning to do a video on it but I've just been pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back. But guess what? We're going to be testing out this foundation today and I am super excited to see if I like it or not. I picked up this foundation from Sephora. I love that it has hyaluronic acid in it. I love Love putting hyaluronic acid on my skin for like my skincare routine so the fact that it had it in this foundation i was like let's try this baby out and it is a full coverage foundation y'all know i'm a full coverage girly like if i'm gonna beat my face it's going to be full coverage flawless and everything so listen i'm not gonna keep talking if you're not already subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead click that subscribe button down below hit that bell so you're notified as soon as i post a new video and if you would like to get into if this foundation is worth it or not, definitely keep watching. I know my eyeshadow looks crazy. It'll all come together once I do my face makeup, okay? I'm gonna use the NYX Plump Right Back Primer because I use this with pretty much all of my foundations. So if this foundation does not work with this primer, girl, I don't know because it needs to work with my favorite primers, okay? I haven't used a foundation yet that does not work with this particular primer but you never know. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Primer Water. I know they don't make this anymore. That is my last bottle and I use it very sparingly, but I really want my makeup to look bomb today, so we're using it. So here is the foundation box. This is the Gucci 24 hour full coverage luminous matte finish foundation. Here is what it looks like once you take it out of its packaging. I got this in the shade 470C, so I hope that I pick the right shade out. I was trying to find like a neutral that matched me, but the 480 was a little bit too dark and this one was a cool tone so we're just gonna see how it works out so it is a little runny on the back of my hand but this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation and the finish of this foundation is matte i usually do not do a matte foundation but let's try it on half of the skin and see what it's looking like. I'm gonna be using my It Cosmetics Airbrush Foundation Buffing Brush. I really do like this brush for foundation, so let's see how it applies this foundation. When they say she full coverage, yeah. She is. And she does have a fragrance. I hope it doesn't break me out. It feels pretty lightweight, y'all. For it being a full coverage foundation, it does not feel heavy, so I like that. The color match could be better, but it's not bad. It's just lighter than I would prefer, but this will probably match me good after summer, so I'm not mad at it. We'll just go in heavy with the bronzer. Like, not a flaw in sight. Okay, it's matte, but it's not super drying either. But it definitely got my skin all the way together. Like you see my natural skin has a glow with the primer and everything. This is matte, baby. You're not gonna get a glow with this. So let's go ahead and apply it on this side as well. Like I said, it feels so lightweight and it blends really easily. Like I really do like the Huda Beauty Faux Filter because it's a full coverage foundation, but I can feel that foundation on the skin. This is full coverage, just as full coverage as the Huda Beauty, but somehow like, I can't feel it. It literally covers all your flaws and so quickly. I'm gonna take a little bit down my neck as well. My neck has been getting like eczema. I don't know what's up with that. It might be like my perfume or something aggravating it. So here is the foundation. 
What do y'all think? The color is not terrible and it may oxidize. So let's see if it does that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup and I'll be back. So the rest of my face makeup is now done. I think that it turned out really good with the Gucci foundation as a base. If you're interested in all the other products that I use for my face base makeup, I did recently do an updated flawless face base routine. It's gonna have the concealer, powders, blush, everything that I use for a super flawless base. Be sure to click the card up top to go check that out if you're interested in any of those products. This foundation coupled with the rest of my face products really work together well. So this foundation gets a big thumbs up for me. I absolutely love the fact that this is full coverage. Look at my face. Like girl, my face looks flawless and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin right now which is insane to me because how? How did you do a complete full coverage foundation and I don't feel anything. Can y'all believe that this is the first makeup product that I've ever tried from Gucci? Definitely check out this foundation if you're a luminous matte girly and you want your makeup to look flawless, last all day. I think this is gonna be the perfect foundation for fall. And I would say go a foundation shade lighter because it did oxidize just a little bit on me, but it oxidized so beautifully. It didn't go orange. It just went a tad bit darker, which actually ended up working out for me if you like my hair in this video I have a video coming soon on it you probably thought this was my real hair I know this V part wig looks bomb right so stay tuned for that video if you have not already checked out my latest flawless foundation based video you definitely want to check that out next I'm gonna leave the link right here it is a full detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how I do a flawless base like the one I'm wearing today